I'm about to show you a tool made by a spy agency that we can all use. Hey, welcome back to 3 Minute Thursday. My name is Gary, I'm a cybersecurity professional by day. And in this week's 3 Minute Thursday, I'm gonna show you around CyberChef. It makes a whole bunch of things way easier in cybersecurity and data work, networking work. If you work with computers, CyberChef might be of use to you. So let's put three minutes on the clock and let's roll. This is CyberChef. It's made by GCHQ, which is the government communications headquarters. It's the UK's equivalent of the National Security Agency in America. There are hackers and they work out of a big building that looks like a cheap version of Apple Campus. And they maintain this. On the left, you got this search box as you type things in here. You get all the results. First one, Enigma, is the Enigma machine. Let's look at some of my favorites. From Base64. Base64 is a data encoding, not encryption, data encoding type. And it just makes it really consistent to put data into Base64, send it in Base64 format, and then decode it on the other end. You never really run into many bugs that way. So you might see this in your work online. If we have an input here, if I just paste this one in, you can see input, output, they match because I haven't applied anything to it yet, this recipe here. And you can chain these together. You can do multiple things in one recipe. So let's just drag from base 64 in. And as you can see, the output changes to please subscribe. And if I double click the word please, you'll see it even highlights the first part of the base 64 encoded string. Pretty cool. So that's base 64. Let's just delete the recipe and delete the data. Here's another example. I've got some JSON data, JavaScript object notation. If you're a web developer, you'll be totally comfortable with this probably. And as you can see, it's pasted it in. You got the squad name, hometown, what year they were formed, the secret base, a few members and things, just a dummy data set off of the internet. And if we go in here, json.beautify and drop it in, as you can see, it then puts it all into these lovely drop downs so you can read it a little bit easier. So if we just shrink all these, you can see there's three members. If we open them up, we don't want to see the powers. We can just shrink the powers. It makes the data just a little bit more readable. It's quite useful. We can also generate QR codes. So let's delete these out. If we have garyriddell.com and we generate a QR code. There it is, that's the QR code. Let's test it out. There it is. We can also defang a URL. Defanging means taking the fangs out of like a bat or a vampire or whatever. It is harmless after that. It means that if someone clicks on the URL, it doesn't actually do anything bad. We use this in cybersecurity all the time when we share malicious domains. Let's just say Gary Riddell was malicious. Normally what we do is we put like some square brackets around the dots. If you click on that, it doesn't do anything anymore. But let's just say we have a whole bunch of URLs in here, thousands of them, and we want to defang them all in one go. There is a defang URL recipe. Boom, there it is, done easy as that. So rather than someone going through and manually trying to do this, you can just do it here automatically. But it has hundreds of more other functions, data formatting. Look how long that list is. It's massive encryption and encoding, public key, arithmetic, networking, utilities. Oh, some great stuff in here as well extractors, hashing, compression, forensics, multimedia, other, the list goes on. It's amazing. It's such a good tool to bookmark. And when you get a file or you get a string of text or you have a blob of data and you want to look at it and understand it, drop it in here, see what happens. It runs on the client side, not the server side. So none of the data goes back to GZHQ or anything like that. Or if you're worried about that sort of thing, you can just run your own version of it locally in some sort of isolated system that's air gapped from the rest of the internet. So that's CyberChef. I'll see you next week.